Hey, Rob here doing a response and review. I'm sure many of you seen well over several hundred perished in a fire at a nightclub, mostly teenagers, and just came on here as a minister of the gospel. First of all, I offer my condolences and prayer for the families, for the friends, for people that are grieving and mourning. Bow your hearts at me. Father, we come to you in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to comfort all of the victims, family members, all of their friends, that whole country, Brazil, over several hundred young people. My God, Father, we're asking you to wrap your arms. Just comfort them with your love, grace, mercy, compassion in Jesus' name. Friends, my God, man, this is great. I mean, you see something like that. You just see a senseless situation. I think fireworks went off and you know, most of those young people went to that party that night or a club or, you know, maybe just having some some clean fun or whatever they would, would not thinking that would be the last day on the earth. And, you know, that can happen to anybody. I mean, you can be in an accident. I'm not, certainly not saying it's going to happen to anybody under the sound of my voice. But, you know, whether we live to be eight or 108, the reality is, is we're all going to take our last breath one day. And my concern as a minister is about eternity. You see, eternity is without measure. It's without end. Eternity is not a billion years. It's not a billion times a billion years. It's without measure. And we're spiritually created beings. We will never die. And we're all going to take our last breath one day. And the question is, are we going to spend it with God or separated from God? And heaven's wonderful. I don't want to the bliss. It's the ultimate part. We want to call it a party. It's not a clean party. But, and then the opposite of heaven, not good, man. Firing, not, not a good scene. Friends, God wants you to spend eternity with him because he loves you. He cares about you. God has a plan for you. God proved it by sending his son. Christ died in the in, on the cross for your sins, for my sins, for the sins of the world. And Jesus is waiting. He is waiting with his arms open wide to embrace people and just give them peace, hope, uh, tranquility. There's many people that have anxiety and stress today and you know, there's fear and worry, and God is the answer for mankind. You know, Christ loves, he just a lover, man. That's the Bible's driven by love. God's driven by love. If you never accepted Christ, you want to recite a simple prayer. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Wash me and cleanse me from the blood that you shed on your cross. Father, I invite you into my life in Jesus' precious name. I ask you to be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for what you did for dying on the cross. Friends, God loves you. He's got a mighty plan for your life. I am a minister of the gospel. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. And under the search, Rob would want to have many of the ministry videos. Be blessed. The Lord loves you today.